welcome to the quick start guide for Matric on OPC server for Alan Bradley PLCs. My name is Roger and I'll be your guide today. This video is designed to help you with the installation and configuration of this product. Firstly, please ensure that you are logged into Windows as an administrator user. Start by running the installation program. If any prerequisites are required, the installer will prompt you. Read and accept the license agreement. The installer provides the option to customize the installation. You can just accept the complete installation. You can change the location and customize the start folder name. The screen allows you to customise the OPC security password. Most users will not require this, so we recommend that you leave it as default. Choose your licence situation and click Next. You're now ready to install this product. Please click Next to start the installation. This part may take a while. When the installation is completed, this window appears. Click Finish to close the installer and open the configuration panel. Depending on your screen resolution, you may have to use the Maximize button. This is important so you can access the Apply button. Click the New Node button and then choose the option that suits your connection type. For this example, we will be connecting to a ControlLogix PLC via Ethernet IP. Connect the PLC to the same network as the PC and ensure that communication is possible using tests such as the ping test. When you are ready, come back to the configuration of the OPC server. Give your device link a name if you prefer something other than the default. Note the tag names will be prefixed by this item. I'll call this AB. Next, enter the IP address of the PLC. Select your PLC connection type and then enter the slot number where the CPU is located. In this case, my CPU is located in slot 0. Ensure Auto Configure Devices is enabled. By leaving this option enabled, your PLC will be scanned and the OPC server will configure itself. Click Create. You will see that a new device has been discovered and added to the left hand navigation tree. Click on the new link. You can change the name if you wish. Also, at the bottom of the window you will see successfully updated control tag file in green. This indicates that the PLC was browsed and a point validation file was automatically built. The reread configuration from PLC box must be used whenever you change your program in your PLC. This updates the point validation file with the latest information. Please ensure that a procedure is written for the person responsible for changing the PLC program, which includes this step. Click Apply to affect any changes that you have made.
Because this OPC server runs as a Windows service, we can now close the GUI as the configuration is now complete and the OPC server will continue to run in the background. To check the data coming from the OPC server, we will use the included free test tool, Matricona OPC Explorer. Open OPC Explorer from the Windows Start menu by clicking Start, All Programs, Matricon OPC, Explorer, and finally Matricon OPC Explorer. Maximize the screen. Connect to Matricon OPC Allen Bradley PLCs, and then click Add Tags. Expand the navigation tree as required. Notice how the tags are grouped by data type. Also notice how the tag names match what you defined in your PLC program. Expand the folder and add a tag. You can also right click in the pane and choose Add All Items to Tag List. Then click OK or the green tick button up the top left of the window. If you have successfully connected to the PLC, the qualities would be good non-specific and the tag value will match what you have in the PLC. We're all but done. Just remember that any time you change the program in the PLC, you must open the OPC server configuration and tick the Reread Configuration from PLC box and click Apply. You may also have to disconnect and reconnect your OPC client to update the browse list when this is done. Failure to do this will result in a bad last known value type qualities for an OPC client that is connected when the PLC program is changed. And that concludes the installation and configuration of Matricon OPC Server for Allen Bradley PLCs. We hope you enjoy this product. If you require technical assistance, a user manual has been provided in the Windows Start menu under All Programs, Matricon OPC, Allen Bradley PLCs, Help. Or you can contact the friendly team at Matricon OPC Support at www.opcsupport.com or you can email the team using support at matriconopc.com.